Okay, so I read this Chris Brogan post, and I'm taking it a little bit literally. In the post, Chris says, uh, he says something. He says basically, um, stay human, right? Keep flavor in. Finally, stop whitewashing everything. Flavor matters. Imperfection matters. Humanity is made up of imperfections. Celebrate them instead of washing them out. If we're different and unique, we're human. Leave those unique bits in. Your kid shows up at 35 seconds into your video, leave it in. Okay, so not 35 seconds in. She's been here since the beginning. This is um, this Melody. And um, why is she in this video? Why are you in this video? The reason she's in this video is that um, this package arrived. Um, hopefully there's nothing there you can freeze frame. Uh, but we're all good people, right? Gary says that. Gary Vanderchuk says, we are better than we give ourselves credit for. Human beings are branded poorly. We are better people. Anyways, I'll find some way to get rid of that. If it... Around about 2 o'clock, as she's sleeping, getting ready to wake up, as I am trying for the 17th or 18th time to get the 99 guys, you know what I'm talking about already, don't you? The 99 guys in level 2, 3 of Super Mar new Super Mario Brothers Wii, I finally do it. I finally get it set up, and I'm going bop, 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 and I'm getting the 99 guys by stomping on the, on the turtle shell. Knock at the door. It's FedEx. Turns out that FedEx's uh, system for letting us know where our package is has been messed up all day. Go figure, right? Apple, AT&T screw up the pre-launch, uh, the, the pre-sales, and FedEx can't handle uh, all the tracking going on with all these phones. So, I'm going to have to edit that out. So there's this box. And I was thinking, oh, oh, oh. I mean, you can't see anything, right? Yeah, you can't see anything. You can see the baby, you can see me. So let's open a box, right? Unboxing video with a baby. And as long as she cooperates, well, we're good, right? She's she's going to get fed up before we get through this. I can tell you that much. I can tell you that much. And you're like, all the action's taking place off the screen. Well, if you saw, you know, you're like, what's he doing? Is there a... Okay. See, it's already proving to be more difficult than I would have imagined because I don't want to try and put scissors close to my baby. That's probably already too close. So I think the baby has to leave the video for a second. Let's see if let's see if it works, right? There's this thing down here you can't see because I'm using my eyesight. Uh, what you can see is that my hair's a mess and I'm still in my pajamas. Baby's dressed though. She's dressed. Alright, let's see. Let's put you down for a second. Let's put her down for a second. Yep. Now I can safely take the scissors, hopefully not stab myself, because that would stink. You know what's interesting? Not interesting. Um, you can't see that. There's nothing there. There's nothing bad there to see, except an iPhone. <laughs> um, back in the day, Back in the day, get that out of the way. All right, now we can bring the baby back in. No more scissors needed, right? Come here, Melly. Okay. Okay, so back in the day when I unboxed my iMac, which I'm recording this on now, I had a special guest, which was her sister who wandered in. She was, the sister was one at the time. Uh, when I unboxed my iPhone two years ago, I don't think I had any guest stars. But, you know, they each get a guest spot in an unboxing video, right? Actually, I don't even think Kaylee appeared in the other video. I think she just you heard her voice, and I was explaining to her what was going on. Four minutes, 40 seconds. Here is my iPhone 4. And see, this is why you bring the baby in. This is why you bring the baby in and you tell silly stories about Mario, because everyone has seen... This unboxing, they've seen unboxings before. They've seen this unboxing probably a dozen times already, even if they're, you know, whatevs. 
So, did the thumbnail thing. Probably all sorts of stuff that I'm not supposed to show you. What's cool about this is because I bought my last iPhone at the AT&T store. I didn't even get to unwrap it. I faked it. The phone was already on. So there is the iPhone packaging, which you've all seen a million times by now because this is Wednesday. Who knows when I get this posted? Um, some people were getting them on Tuesday. So there is a very, very slick looking iPhone 4. Very slick. Um, so my iPhone 4. Nice. I like the feel of it. Um, got the box. You're like, get the box out of the way. I want to see the baby. Um, stuff. Got your USB. Sorry, Melly. I know you want to be the star of this video. Um, you got the USB. You got the uh, the mic. Uh, no, not the mic. The headphones on top. You got the uh, power charger on the bottom. I think these earphones are the ones, yes, they have the plus minus, and that means they can do the voice stuff, right? Which mine couldn't do. I have an iPhone 3G right now, and it, I didn't do the upgrade to the 3GS because my contract wasn't up. Basically, I mean, that's how I'm rocking it. You know, we each get to upgrade, right? So next year when y'all who had the 3GS, when you're upgrading and I'm not upgrading, you know, it's, it's cool. That's just the way it works. All of a sudden, the video got brighter because more of my shirt or something. Um, oh, more, all this white. That's what it is. So inside, designed by Apple in California. And um, got some fingertips. Uh, we've got iPhone important product information. And the requisite Apple stickers. I have a ton of these and I haven't put them on anything. I'm that guy that like, I've had the same car for a long time, right? But I think, oh, I'm gonna put an Apple sticker on it and then the car will break down and it won't be my car anymore. Well, my car's broken down a whole bunch and it's still my car. I haven't changed yet. So packaging is nice and minimal. There's the phone itself. It's got some stickies on uh, both sides. What do you think, Melly? What do you think? She's underwhelmed. That's all right. Um, why did I get it? Why did I get it? Well, I had a, um, a project that I had just finished. Um, and I really see it as a business expense. Uh, for Geek Force 5, I want to be able to have a video camera and a decent camera on me at all times. But I don't want to be carrying my family's camera, the uh, Panasonic Lumix, which is an amazing camera. But I don't want to have to be carrying that because there are cute kids around that my wife could be taking pictures of. But if I'm out doing Geek Force 5 business, this is how I want to operate. Um, didn't have enough money for an iPad. That's not an option. Um, and I wanted to upgrade my phone. Um, I have the 3G, right? And now the 4, right? Um, 3G is beaten up a little bit. You might be able to see some, oh, you can see, you know, reflection. Get it out of the way of the baby. Um, there's a scratch up in there. There's another scratch up there. Uh, I'm going to be keeping the 3G around and converting it into sort of a, an iPod Touch. Um, I've read some instructions on how to do that. Um, but this will be my video camera, everything for me um, when I'm mobile. And that is, uh, it makes it a business expense. Yes, I have recently lost my job, but I had the money sitting around from a project I finished for this, and I really see it as um, a justifiable business expense. Now, you can tell me that I'm wrong, but I don't believe you. I think I'm right. So that's that's me unboxing um, my iPhone 4. I didn't did not introduce myself. I am E. Christopher Clark from geekforce5.com, which is relaunching next week, I hope. I will catch you on the flip side.